Meeting. Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue. So here we go with the second to last couple of the event. Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue. ease to their skating style just effortlessly moving across the ice through this step sequence the intensity and their passion shining through the whole time Another sensational skate here in San Jose. <laughs> this time it's Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue. And finally, the skate they've been looking for when they needed it. 
huge moment for these two. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful choreography. Such a high ceiling, such talented skaters. I mean, really. Once again, Madison Hubbard. I'm a little bit speechless. I'm, I'm so impressed. And, and I'm always impressed with these two. But, at, at, you know, as we said, mistakes here and there from them have kept them from sort of reaching their goals. And this, this competition, a little stumble on the twizzle, not bad. But that free skate was, was saying it was a clean skate really doesn't do it justice. And what they bring is a, a passion between the two of them. You, you just cannot take your eyes off of them. It's, it's hard to pay attention to whether they're in hold, out of hold, just really doing a good job. And it's, you have to give credit to their, their coaching staff, to the, the hard work that they've put in, the trust that they have in each other here. We, they start off with the twizzles. I just, I love their attack, the arm movement, so in sync, bringing the characters to life even during the twizzle sequence, incredibly difficult. So much focus required to make sure that you don't make any mistakes on that and it just seemed like another choreographed element for them. So here we have the spinning choreographed element, the way that they look at each other, I just, I don't know if you can teach that. And a lot of times that that's what makes teams special is their abilities and, and their strengths that are natural. And for them, they have so many natural abilities that just on that, a lift like that, the ease in and out of it, the, the confidence between the two of them. I don't know. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but they, they earned it. They earned me repeating all of the good things that they do so incredibly well with that performance. <laughs> Just joy at the end of the routine. That's, that's what they deserve. Here we see that Zach does not have any sleeves on under that jacket. <laughs> I don't think it may, maybe none of us are surprised actually. <laughs> Here with their coach Patrice Lozon. They train in Montreal with the top two teams in the world at the moment. The French team, Gabriel Papadakis and Guillaume Cesaro, the French. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, and you have to wonder, is that helped raise their game to this level? They've always been good, but now they are great. So the score they would need is a 117.84 to overtake the Shibutanis for first place. It's going to be close, Charlie. Ooh, it's going to be close. judges let's get these scores we cannot hold our breath any longer and now the scores for Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue their free dance score 118.02 their total competition score 197.12 they are currently in first place. So all the hard work pays off. A new personal best, the fourth highest score of the U.S. Championships. 118.02 for Hubble and Donahue. 
Gives them 197.12, also a personal best, and the fifth highest score at the U.S. Championships. And more importantly for them, moves them into first place with one couple remaining. That is huge. That is a huge move.